back here again today for another installment on Project A3 series. This time around, we're going to be installing the IS-38 Turbo on our Project A3. Without further ado, let's get started. As you guys can see right here, we've got our new Turbo. This of course being the IS-38. Can't wait to get the install going. Definitely make some great gains. Let's get to it. As far as getting the turbo out of there, do we, are we going to take the turbo out from the top or the bottom? Uh, not quite sure yet. Yeah? Whichever way it uh, seems to want to come out. Yeah? I mean, would you say pretty much bringing down that subframe, just kind of giving that some more room, get um, that downpipe out of the way? I'm going to try and not take the subframe down. I'm, my goal is to take it out from the top. Okay. All right, guys. So as you can see, we're making some good progress here, just kind of working on this teardown. Went ahead and drained the coolant. We've got our intake removed, uh, loosened up our drive shaft as well as our downpipe. So we're getting into it, man. Makes some good progress and uh, we're going. Let's pull this factory highest 20 and there she is. Kind of rustled a little bit, man, but you're very persistent. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Alright, you can see we've successfully removed this IS-20. We've got it side by side here next to the new IS-38. Well, let's take a quick minute, kind of look at them side by side and uh, compare and contrast. This is the IS-38, this is the factory IS-20, and at first glance, you can tell this housing is a lot bigger. You have a lot more air that this is going to flow through. This housing is, it's, it's incredible how much bigger. So the turbine is a little bit bigger, but it's more the size of the housings that's going to flow more volume of air. Okay. Well, it's exciting, man. I definitely look forward to this install. Glad we were able to get that one removed. So I guess we'll go ahead and keep on uh, progressing here. Make this IS-38 happen. Yes, sir. So we've obviously got our factory IS-20 removed. Getting ready to go ahead and prep this IS-38 to go ahead and swap into our vehicle. Uh, one thing important to always talk about briefly is, guys, I'm always big on turbo muffler deletes. You can see the factory turbo muffler comes as is with this IS-38. Of course, what we're going to be using today, we've got this really nice turbo muffler delete. Uh, this is part of the Rev9 charge pipe kit. It's a really good upgrade, great value. It's a really nice way to kind of eliminate that factory baffle, that restriction uh, associated with this turbo muffler delete. So we'll make sure to go ahead and transfer that over onto our new IS-38. Taking a look here, we've got our install kit, all the supplied hardware. Got to have the proper nuts and bolts, make sure everything's buttoned up properly. And we'll go ahead and get it prepped up to uh, swap it on in. So one of our favorite parts of this process, man, is getting that factory turbo muffler out of there. This guys, you always ask questions about the turbo muffler. You can see the difference looking side by side. You've got this little restrictive baffle. If you just look at those compared to the aftermarket, you basically just delete that unnecessary baffle. You can optimize your airflow. Pretty straightforward. All right, so why don't we just briefly take a look at our stock IS-20, just kind of examine this turbo and just see what we're looking at as far as the wear and tear, the condition. I'd say we're looking at about, about 35,000 miles, give or take, of stage two driving. So what do you okay. think, uh, what do you think well, we're looking at, man? You, you can tell it's a, little, it's, a, it's a little oily and a little bit dirty, but nothing that I would say inhibits performance at all. The, uh, the, the turbine shaft has zero play at all. It's kind of hard to see in there, but there, there, there's virtually zero play uh, on the turbine at all. The, the, the wastegate is in, is in great condition. It, uh, it, 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 it does what it needs to do, really. Yeah. I'm, uh, there, there's not a, not a trace of oil coming out of the back of the turbo. There we go, man, looking good. IS-20 still hanging in there strong. It's good stuff, man. All right, so we've got our IS-38 prepped here. Everything's looking good. Turbo muffler has been deleted. And uh, let's get to it, man. There it is. IS-38 sitting comfortably in there. We'll just get everything tightened up, reconnected, and torque it down. One thing I just want to take a minute to talk about briefly is APR addition coils, definitely a popular upgrade, something I get asked about very regularly. Want to get the most out of these cars, definitely don't neglect your ignition, so I would certainly recommend go and pick up a set of APR coil packs if you haven't already, definitely will not regret it. So 
So stage three, it's been a long journey. Stage yeah. two for a couple years now. I think this really uh, puts together the whole package. Took, took the final plunge. Yeah, man. I say install overall, not too bad, man. I don't think that was, uh, what, about four hours we're in deep so far? Yeah, probably about like four or five hours. Yeah. I definitely wouldn't recommend trying to do this at home. No, you would hate yourself doing this at home. <laughs> it's, it's good to be able to connect everything from the top and the bottom too. So you got the drive shaft, you got your bullet lines, your oil lines. There's a lot of going up and down, right? And I just don't think that would really be feasible in, in a garage, I mean, just on jack stands. Yeah, it's, it's, it's doable, doable but you, you'd be crawling around on your back. It just wouldn't be very fun, but yeah, it's cool. doable. Go ahead and fire up the stage three too, man, and uh, we can let the gains begin. Yes, sir. So we just loaded up our APR Stage 3 ECU tune. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and update our TCU software for the IS-38. So we've just completed our software update with the Stage 3 file for both our ECU and TCU tunes. We're gonna go and get our air box back in there with the battery, all those other accessories, and we'll be good to go. So guys, there you have it. We've got one complete IS-38 install, APR Stage 3 for the Project A3. I'm super pumped. Let's go ahead and take a test drive and see how it does. So how'd it go, man? You just took it out on its maiden voyage. Dude, incredible. A a absolutely highly recommend uh, IS-38. It's uh, it just, anytime you'd, you'd have normal wheel spin and GTI, it just pulls all the way through the RPM band. Just, just puts nothing power but power. Right down. Nothing yeah. but power. Dude, that's, I'm so hyped, man. I, I can't wait. Put down that gapel sauce. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, huge thanks today. I really appreciate you taking the time, making it happen. It's really good stuff, dude. Yeah, absolutely, man. Not a problem. Glad to be part of the channel. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bro, yo. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we're setting off here. Just completed our IS-38 install for the Project A3. We've uploaded our APR Stage 3 IS-38 ECU tune, as well as the respective APR TCU tune to match the new turbo. And I gotta say, just setting off here, man, this is an absolute rocket of a car. I mean, Dude, that torque is just explosive. What a massive difference, guys. I'm really impressed so far. I mean, this car just feels just so much more responsive. Dude, it just, what a difference, man. Like, I'm really impressed right now. I mean, this is a huge, huge difference. And what's amazing is like, there's just, no noticeable lag at all. I know some of you guys have been talking about it like, oh, you know, if you go from an IS-20 to an IS-38, it's gonna lag more, but dude, so far, I mean, there's no lag. I really can't complain whatsoever about the smooth delivery of power. I mean, it's, it's factory-like. Oh my gosh, dude. Holy crap, son. Dude, this... <laughs> wow. I can't believe I didn't do this sooner. I'm very impressed right now, guys. I mean, the delivery of power, it's just, it feels so effortless, it's so smooth. I mean, there's nothing just disruptive or there's no hiccups. I mean, just that immediate, that robust punch of torque. <laughs> wow. So far with this IS-38, I have nothing but great things to say. I mean, I, I really can't find a bad thing to say about this upgrade. I mean, everything is just so comfortable, it's so smooth. The car is just amazingly responsive. And it's just taking it to another level, guys. And as far as just the overall, the, the driving characteristics of the car, I mean, unless you're really getting into it, otherwise it pretty much feels like a stock car. I guess that's what makes it such a great upgrade is you're working with a factory turbo. You're not bringing yourself into some dangerous uncharted territory. Let's put it in sport mode here and see how it does. <laughs> Some nice pops. Gosh, what a difference. <laughs> wow, man. <laughs> guys, I'm just at a loss for words. I'm absolutely blown away. If you guys have any Volkswagen Audi MQB car, if you've got a GTI, if you've got an A3, I'm just going to say IS-38 all day, guys. I'm obviously going to spend some more time driving the car, getting used to the new power. I'll be sure to do a follow-up video just to kind of talk about my overall thoughts and satisfaction. But right now, I got nothing but great things to say, and I can't keep a smile off my face because this is ridiculous.
Yo. So guys, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's installation. Stay tuned for the next installment on our build series. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.